Hey, welcome back. When we left off, we were asked to increase the number of businesses in Sofia and add a trade cart to one of our, well, our only uh, trader here so far. So first, let's go on into, into Sofia. We've got 11 businesses, so we just need to add three more. So let's see, we've got a surplus here. An excess production of lumber, bricks, and metal. So let's go ahead and have some more fruit and some more wheat. And we'll go ahead and go with lumber. And then to add a cart to the trader, we'll select the trader. He's in town now, so with his menu down there, you can see it flashing on the menu, the trader menu. You can go over to Manage Carts, and then put it on the plus sign, hit X, and you can see there, it says Move Cart Between Town and Trader. There are five carts in the town, and the trader has one cart, so if I add one to the trader, then there's four in town and two on the trader, so that's... There we go. And now I guess maybe we have to wait for these businesses to actually be built. So there they go. Building, building, building. And pow. While preparations are being made for her visit to Sofia, Eudokia travels across the eastern half of the empire. She wants to get to know the towns, cities, and provinces better, and it is also her intention that her people be able to get a better picture of their new ruler. She is particularly impressed with the flourishing settlements of Banas, Count of Odessa, and brother of the Patriarch. The Empress seizes every opportunity to find out more about the new technologies in use in these settlements. Barnas, in turn, also expresses his interest. Back off, Barnas. Esteemed Leon, on my journey to Odessa, I visited Barnas, the Patriarch's brother. His provinces flourish and prosper. He says that his scholars have discovered a new cultivation method for grain, three-field crop rotation. I would like your farmers to utilize this new invention as well. It would bring me great joy to see your fields in their full glory when I visit Sophia. Okay, so now it says to catch up on new technologies. Open the game menu with the touchpad and select development to research the three field crop rotation by using development points. That's another uh, parallel to uh, Settlers of Catan. They have development cards and these are development points. So the way this works, they just gave me three development points as, as part of the story here but normally what happens is if you look at your empire you see under my name there Leon Veselios it says village chief that's my title and the one I think is just bet you're basically level one you know village chief so every time well let me look at this here the uh, the green line there underneath uh, the name. What that stands for is your current territorial claims from towns. So the more you expand your territory, the more this line goes up, and then when it reaches this point here, you go to level two and you get a new title. Uh, I forget what the title after village chief is, but you know, you go up to like count and grand lord and uh, uh, eventually to emperor. But every time you do that, every time you get a new title, you get three more points. So anyway, 
when you get these development points, you can spend them on production, infrastructure, military, and then once you're emperor, you can use this academy tab. I've not achieved emperor yet, so I don't know exactly what this entails, but right now they want us to get the three field crop rotation. So first we have to research <laughs> research beer which I'm all for researching beer I love to research beer personally I'm researching beer right now drinking a beer called well it's actually a uh, what is it called it's uh, a barley wine ale is what I'm drinking called uh, kettle of vultures and it, it's it's really good okay so I'm researching the brewery and then spending another point on the three field crop rotation. And then I'll go ahead and spend my third point on the smithy here, the tools. So that's that's always a good thing to have. Uh, that's I think that's one of the things you need to upgrade roads. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Esteemed Leon, I am extremely satisfied with what the messengers from your province have to report. A few of the other town rulers should really follow your example. Present yourself as being extravagant. Your reputation at court can only benefit from this. Just between the two of us, I have grown weary of the nagging of obstinate senators who fear every new innovation. Oh, I hear you, Empress. I completely sympathize. If you need to complain to me, I'm, I'm always here to listen, to offer any advice that you feel that I am worthy to give. I'm always here for you. Just, I just want to put that out there. I just want to tell you. I just want to let you know. Just know that, okay? Know it. Know it. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where, where was I? Next target. Produce 100 barrels of grain by using the new cultivation method. Keep in mind that you don't have to commission new businesses as your farms built so far will now produce as, produce as twice as much. <laughs> there are a lot of little typos here and there in these these menus okay so we need 100 barrels of grain I'll speed up time here and we ought to get there pretty quickly the plans for a trip to call upon you are already underway Please make all the necessary arrangements so that you are ready when I depart for Sophia with my entourage. It has only been a few decades since the Normans conquered Italy. Their ambition is great and their troops are feared. They have now reached the shores of Byzantium where they have built the town of Vlora. It is not the first time the Normans have crossed the sea and mounted an attack, but the new beachhead hints at other, larger goals. Mm. Esteemed Leon, I am disturbed by the latest news from the West. A new Norman base. This cannot bode well. Please consolidate your borders. Found a new settlement to provide the subjects in the region with additional security. I would really hate to have to delay my visit with you. Oh, I completely agree. Okay, recruit a settler at the inn in order to found a new town. So, we go to the inn here. Recruit a settler. Then we have to wait a little time before they uh, actually appear. So I'm speeding up time. Oh... Speeding up time. Where is the settler? Hello, settler. Hello. Okay, they're almost done. They're almost here. There we go. On selecting the right location, if you wish to found a new town, dispatch your settlers and allow them time to search. 
They are to report back to you and inform you of which soil is best for your purposes. After all, every town is deeply rooted on the land it is built on, and you will do well to choose only locations with treasures that are worth your while. Okay, a suitable position for a new town has been marked on your map south of Sophia. Move your settler to this point and choose the function Establish Settlement somewhere where you would be able to produce coal, wool, and honey. So you go to this menu with L1, select the settler, and they put settlers and building squads in the same category, so when you have both of them in the same town, you can... While you're holding down L1 and holding down on the left stick, you can press X to switch back and forth between the building squad and the settler. And then when you have the settler uh, selected, if you hold down L2, it will show you the various commodities that can be produced in various, you know, in the, in the different areas. So there's salt, there's coal metal we can make wine right here uh, there's pottery potentially right there so they want us to go down here so that's where we will go on the way and you can see as they move along you can still hold down L2 and uh, this means there are other cities here this is the enemy city they were talking about that the Normans established. So we're about to see uh, the Norman city over here as we pass by. But I'll go ahead and speed up time. And there we go. So they want us to be able to make coal, wool, and honey. So I'm sure that's possible here since they sent us here but yeah you can see the honey symbol there the coal symbol and then if you look on the lower left hand corner those four grassy things those are fields so in fields you can produce uh, you can have sheep which is what ha has you produce wool you can have cattle which is it lets you produce meat um, you can grow fruit and you can grow wheat so those those fields are multi-purpose just depending on what you want to do so I will use the d-pad to select build town and it is called Arta a beautiful land be proud of your new town your pride in it is well earned and it draws in new subjects but you should not tarry in ensuring that commodities are being actively traded between your towns. It is only in this manner that your new town will be able to obtain those goods that it will require to construct its first houses. Okay, so they want us to build a road between Sophia and Arta. They want us to hire a second trader at Sophia's Inn and set up a trading route between those towns. Uh, which would make use of the trader uh, function which is a, a trading route so but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and we will pick it up right there in the next video so thanks for watching